Big Game James Allen from the Times Union with us every Friday morning as we talk high school sports here on 104.5 The Team ESPN Radio. Joins us this morning as he gets set to cover the semifinals tomorrow at the Civic Center. Good morning, Big Game. Good morning, Roger. You've seen Academy Big Game a, a number of times this year. They won it last year. We know about Hamir Wright. We know about Will Bennett. How overall good is this team? I mean, in other words, is this team that they're, they're putting on the floor tomorrow as good as the teams that have won it under Fruscio with this Federation tournament? Well, they could definitely win it, Roger. Uh, there's no question about it. I, it's hard to compare teams because they're different, different personnel, but this, this team was interesting in the, in the fact that you only really have the two main guys in Bennett and Wright that were stars. Now, now, Mulvey, C.J. Mulvey, the senior forward, he started some games last year. Uh, August Mahoney's had a great year as a sophomore. He scored 26 points in 16 games last year, so he didn't have a lot of experience, even though he was on the roster and he he was he was a guy that uh, practiced and certainly did things. But I mean, he's a different player, not only in terms of production, but he's five inches taller. He's he's completely completely different physically than what he was last year. And uh, Marcus Filling was a guy they brought up late in the year. Uh, they got some run at, toward the end of the season, but he didn't have a lot of experience. So they only had two returning starters, really, in essence. And Mulvey was a guy that you know, was in the starting lineup sometimes, and situationally. And now they went out, you know, they went and played four games in Vegas. They played in Washington, D.C. They played in New Jersey. They played in Pennsylvania. They, they played all these games. Uh, early in the season, and especially that trip, four days, uh, played uh, five days, and they played four games in Vegas. That's going to bond you, and I think that was what helped grow this team throughout the year. They've had some really good, you know, wins not only in teams from our area like Colony, but but also you know some teams that are from out of the area, um, and they and they really beat some some quality you know programs. And the team they're going to be playing tomorrow is very good. Obviously, they're number one team in the state. They won the state uh, public high school championship, their first championship, and they've got four guys that score in double digits. So it is going to be a very interesting matchup. And I heard what Coach Fruscio said in the the the, the, uh, highlight, the uh, audio you have with Chris. He's absolutely right. You get the, their, their transition defense is going to be in, in, in paramount in this game. They cannot allow Orenda to just get out and, and uh, do what they want. After miss, they got to get back. But they also academy has a very distinctive size advantage inside. So I think that's going to be one of the things that they're going to try to exploit. The the uh, and they're really good at spacing the floor. They they run a lot of college uh, type offense that a lot of high school teams don't run, and they they can get the shots they want. And Almond Academy shot 48 percent from the field this year, so they definitely have handled a lot of different situations. They haven't played a Glen Falls like this team has, but They've, uh, you know, they've played everywhere, so they're, they're certainly battle tested. I'm sure Ron DeCoy knows all about him here, right? Will Bennett, who who will be an X factor for Academy tomorrow? Well, I don't think there's any question. Mahoney's uh, had a great year. He's averaging 16 a game. Uh, he's shooting, uh, you know, 50 percent from the field. He's shooting 46 percent from three. You know, obviously shooting at the Glens Falls Civic Center. If you haven't done it before, it can be a, a little bit of a difficult uh, situation, but. I think he's going to be an interesting uh, matchup because the guy he's guarding is the leading scorer for uh, Alenica. His name is uh, Gerald Gumgool. Uh, Gumgool. He's going to be, he's sixteen six a game, so they're they're about same in production, and uh, he's going to have to be big. But I, I think Mulvey's a huge factor for them because Roger. He's six foot eight. He's got really long wingspan. He's going to be playing next year at uh, Salisbury, which is a prep school in Connecticut. And he's to me he's, he's you know he's shooting sixty two percent from the field and sometimes you know Coach Fruscia did a story on him the other day and so it's almost sometimes he's almost too unselfish because he, he's always looking right to make the right play but I think he's going to be very important for them he may not score a lot of points but he's going to have to rebound he's going to have to stay on the floor and uh, he can really outlet the ball he's very uh, he's very savvy in, in terms of the X's and O's of the game and. Uh, I think he's going to be a very, very important factor if they're going to win this game. Big game, James Allen with us here on Big Board Sports 104.5. The team, James, what kind of atmosphere are you expecting? I joked with Hamir Wright yesterday, like you've played this thing at the Times Union Center. They've, they've had you play this thing at SefQ Arena. Now you're going to play it at the Civic Center with it being in Glens Falls. 
Do you think that the atmosphere is lessened by the fact that the state tournament was there, or maybe it's amped up a little bit because people are craving hoops? Well, it's going to be interesting, Chris. You know, the last few times they had the Federation tournament at the Civic Center, there just wasn't really that many people there, unless there was a team from our area that was there. And, you know, during that time, we weren't sending a lot of teams there. Now, when CBA... You know, got to the federations in ten, which is the last time they had it there. They had they had a crowd, but there's been times I will never forget when George Morgan got inducted in the, in the, in the basketball hall of fame. They have the uh, thing inside the Civic Center. I came out, and two of the top 25 teams in the country were playing a double A championship game, and they had seven Division One players on the floor, and there couldn't have been 150 people in the, in the gym. It was wow. amazing. I could hear I could hear the sneakers squeaking. As I was walking through, I was like, this is unbelievable. There's, this guy's going to Michigan. This guy's going to St. John's. This guy's going here. And there were just weren't a lot of people there. And, you know, Academy, for, they have a, you know, a rabid little fan base, but they don't necessarily travel. So I, I don't know how many people they're going to have. Our Remiclot will bring their, you know, they'll bring a, a certain amount of people. But they're, I, I just don't expect to be huge crowds for any of these games. So, um you're going to have to generate almost your own atmosphere, and I think that the academy understands that um, it's not at the Times Union Center. They had decent crowds there, but again, even when they played at, at Times Union Center, the crowds weren't there were overly uh, amped up or, or that big, unless there was Troy Girls playing or Scotia and Academy when they played that time. Other than that, those crowds weren't very big. So I don't. I, if you're looking for a huge crowd, or you're looking for four or five thousand people there for tomorrow. I don't think that's going to be the case. So it's uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays and how many people actually do go to see there. I, if if there are capital the region fans out there that have not, for whatever reason, seen Academy play and they're they're curious, I would suggest that they go because they are a very good team and. They very well have a very good chance to win a, a third Federation title in five years. Big game, James Allen. Always a pleasure every Friday morning here on Big Board Sports. Uh, semifinals Federation Tournament, Glens Falls Civic Center. Uh, the games begin today. The Albany Academy under head coach Brian Fruscio tomorrow at 1 o'clock. And hopefully Capital Region fans will get up the North Way, get to the Civic Center and watch some terrific basketball this weekend. And in particular for tomorrow at 1 o'clock when we got Albany Academy, the defending champs, on the court. Thank you, big game. Thanks, James. You got it. Thanks, guys.